Gantry Assembly. Use the Spacer Template tool to adjust the spacing of the nuts on both sides of the Y-axis aluminum profile. The other side. Use to PCS of MDF test board on both sides to raise the gantry. Then use spacer template tool to adjust the gantry position. Use M6 asterisk 20 socket head screws and M6 washers to fix the gantry on the nuts on both sides of the Y axis face. The other side. Z axis assembly. Use M5 asterisk 14 socket head screws and M5 washers to fix the Z axis assembly on the gantry. Fix the screws to the top row of nuts on the Z axis without tightening them completely. Use pearl cotton or other objects to align the screw holes with the bottom row of nuts on the Z-axis. Then fix the screws and washers to the nuts without tightening completely. Insert the spacer template tool into the back of the Z-axis in the black aluminum profile. Adjust the final height of the Z-axis. Then fully tighten all screws. Spindle holder assembly. Use M6 asterisk 60 socket head screw to attach the spindle holder to the Z-axis slider. Spindle assembly. If the spindle cannot be put into the spindle holder smoothly, you can use a wrench to pry open the spindle holder slightly and then put the spindle in. Drag chain bracket assembly. Use to M5 asterisk 20 button heat socket screws to fix the drag chain bracket on the Z-axis assembly. Use M3 asterisk 8 socket head screw to fix the spring wire connector to the drag chain bracket. And then press the spring wire connector and insert the spindle motor wires. Pass to M3 asterisk 8 button heat socket screws through the drag chain. Then screw on the M3 T-nuts not fully tightened. And fix one end of the drag chain on the black aluminum profile of the gantry. Use a screwdriver to pry open the drag chain buckles. Then pass the spindle cable, Z-axis limit switch cables, and Z-axis stepper motor cable through the drag chain. Straighten out all the cables and then cover the drag chain buckles.
Tighten the M3 asterisk gate socket head screws to fix the drag chain. Connect the X and Y axis stepper motor cables to the stepper motors. Use M3 asterisk gate button heat socket screws to fix the cable clips on the aluminum plate. Use zip ties to secure all the wires. Use cable wrap to wrap all cables. Connect the spindle motor cable. Pay attention to red to red and black to black. Loosen the collet nut. Insert the CNC bit into the ER11 collet and then tighten the nut. Screw the antenna onto the controller, then connect all the wires to the controller.